hello guys today i'm going to explain you how can we solve this problem from lead codes weekly challenge and the problem statement says that there is a row of m houses in a small city each house must be painted with one of the n colors labeled from 1 to m some houses that has been painted last summer should not be painted again so yeah and uh, a neighborhood is a maximal group of continuous houses that are printed with the same color for example here we can form a group of uh, groups as that there are uh, like five groups and each of them have uh, same color for each group so basically we are given houses and a cost matrix uh, for for painting each house and a target value so what we need to do is we need to paint all the remaining houses like the ones which are not painted in such a way that there are exactly target this many neighbors the given target and if it is not possible then we need to return minus one so for example in this case so initially if all the house if uh, color of the house is zero that means it is uncolored if it is not zero that means for example if it is two that or one or anything it means it's already colored so we should not color the ones uh, as it is written here we should only color the one that are not painted so if it is already painted we should not paint all right so we are also given the cost of painting each house and then uh, the number of cost uh, the number of houses the number of uh, colors that we have and the target that uh, target group that we want to achieve for example here all of them are initially not painted so we can just uh, try to uh, try to see which uh, by coloring each house in one of the different colors and try to find which one will give us the most optimal answer and similarly here as you can see in this case actually you could have formed this this one and there's no better answer than this than this and uh, in this configuration we'll get this cost as 9 and similarly for this one if you see the cost array is uh, given to us and also the houses are given to us initially houses all houses are painted except the first and last so painting the first one by uh, if we paint if we choose to paint it by uh, color 1 uh, sorry let me just see yeah, if we choose to paint it by color one, then what will happen is uh, we will have more number of groups. So, for example, if let's say this was colored by one, we will have one, two, one, two, and let's say even if this was colored as two, so we will have overall four groups. But uh, we are required to have only three group. Uh, as you can see, uh, there were already th three groups, so we were we were to choose the color for these uh, houses such that um, it still remains to be three group only so yeah the this this way we can distribute like choosing the color two for this one and color two for this one even if we have to pay because we have to follow the rule as well so and similarly here you can check and what else we need to do is if there is no way to achieve like uh, coloring exact uh, having the group of exactly these many neighborhoods then we need to return minus one all right so let's see how we can solve this one so let's try to think of what all the inputs we have so we have a certain number of houses we have cost array and we have uh, colors for each houses and the target uh, target tells us the number of groups uh, that we can have so if we think it in terms of like uh, let's say here we have certain number of houses and some of already paint some of them are already painted some of them are not painted let's say here also we have some house so at any moment what options we have at any moment we have a certain number of house so let's say if we want to paint this one what all the things that we need we need an id that we want to paint all right and what else so we said that we are going to in uh, we are going to consider a group let's say uh, if this guy was already colored in let's say green 
so we have an option of choosing either green here or red all right so if we choose green does this increase the group count at all no so and if we choose red then it will so what it needs is what's the previous colors uh, was the color of the previous house so we can say we need this param a uh, previous all right and and what else we said that we want to have exactly some target amount of groups all right so how do we keep track of that so if we keep track of that by keeping some number which tells us what's the current amount of target that uh, what's the current current amount of group that we currently have so these are all the things that we need so what do we want to do we want to color each house and we want to check what's the previous color and we have a number of currently unique groups that we have all right so what we are going to do we are going to try giving all the possible colors to this colored house and we will first check if this house is already colored or not so if this house is already colored let's say for example if we reach here and we saw that this house is already colored then also it, uh, we need to take care of this particular case that what was the previous color that we chose so if we chose a previous color to be red then means we are going to get another group all right so if this was red then we'll consider this as another group so yeah let's keep these things in mind when we will uh, implement this so let's first talk about the state transition so here as we said that yeah let's for on um, let's for now let's just talk about we are uh, going to paint some house which is not colored let's say this one all right and we had an option of choosing all the color uh, starting from uh, 1 to n all right so what we will do we will check whether the, this color let's say this this is color right uh, 1 to n is color so if this color is let me just decrease this size a little bit so if we, we are going to loop through 1 to n and if let me just write it here if this color uh, color is not equals to uh, the previous color that we had like the previous variable that we have then what happens then in that case our state should look like something this id plus 1 that means we have colored this one and we are going to color the next one and the previous should be this current color all right because we said that we are going to color it by this color c all right and because this is not equals the previous color then means uh, we are going to increase the total number of uh, unique houses that we have for now all right so this will increase if this was not the case that means in the other in the other hand what option we had is we are again to go to the next house and uh, because yeah we want to color make sure that we all the houses are painted and then this color will remain to be the previous one only or yeah because we said that we are going to color it so we can either keep it c or previous because both of them are equal so i'll just call it previous and in this case we are not increasing the number of unique uh, groups that we have currently so this way we can try with all the different colors for all the unpainted house and we'll try to recursively find the best answer here then what else we want to do the base condition in when we have painted all the house that means if id is reaches once we are increasing by one so it might reaches the end of the house that means uh, end of the houses like end of the row then what we need to do is we need to ensure that the number is exactly equals to the target so we will only return uh, we will return i mean the, if there are no houses left to be painted then we will check whether uh, if this number is equals to the target or not if number equals to target then only we are saying that there are no more cost to paint any other things so we will return zero 
if this is the case then what are we going to do we are going to return 0 otherwise we are going to return let's say int max or some sub identifier which will let us know that this is a totally invalid uh, situation that means we don't have exactly k targets or exactly target amount of groups all right so and we are going to compare the results uh, by taking the minimum of all all these possibi uh, possi possibilities so if in case of invalid ones we will have in uh, let's say plus infinity and because of that we can capture it in our driver function to say that uh, there is no possible way we can distribute it so yeah uh, with all these things and yeah of course we can we will try to memoize it because you can try it and, uh, and draw the decision tree here and you'll see that this this the problems here are overlapping sub problems so we can memoize and try to solve it uh, try to uh, optimize the efficiency so let's see how we can code this one now all right so here is my code and let's let me just try to uh, walk you through this code base so i have created this function which uh, will take care of finding the minimum cost if it is possible or not so yeah here i have just uh, declared a bunch of variables which i am assigning here from my given params so that i don't have to pass them all the time into my function and uh, i have also initiated one uh, initial declared one dp table of certain size uh, based on this constraint that are given to me and uh, have filled it with minus one initially and then i'm starting with uh, uh, zeroth house and currently total zero number of groups and a random color which cannot be one of the 20 colors so that i will tell that hey there are no uh, i mean once we'll choose once we'll uh, iterate through all the colors we will have to match with the previous color and this has should not be one of the pre uh, one of the actual values because currently we don't have any houses that are painted and once we find that uh, the answer that for this uh, overall cost for painting all the houses is int max that means the largest amount that means uh, there is no possible way we can paint it otherwise uh, we will return the answer so let me just uh, try to explain you what's the actual code or lo logic should look like so at any moment if if the total number of unique targets a uh, unique groups in increases goes more than the target value then this means uh, this is invalid configuration so we would like to return the largest possible value otherwise if we reach the end of the house that means uh, end of the row there are no more houses left then we'll check if we have exactly k amount of target amount of the group if that's the case then we'll return zero because we don't have to paint anything else and if this is not the case that means uh, this is an invalid uh, situation and we would again like to return the maximum possible integer we will check whether this state is already has already occurred or not if this is the case then we will return the already calculated value here otherwise we would initialize our answer as uh, largest possible value and then we'll try to see what all the all, what are all the options that we have and then as i said uh, in while discussing here uh, as i said if there are certain uh, houses which are already colored so we don't want to color them so there are no cost involved in coloring them but we need to consider what was the previous color chosen for the uh, what was the color chosen for the previous house so let's say if as i said if this was green then we don't increase the total number of group because uh, it will be accumulated in this one only in this group only otherwise we will increase the total number of group that we have and that's what i'm doing so i am assigning a new num variable to the our total number of groups currently that we have then i'm checking if current house color is equals to if it is not equals to the previous color that means we are going to increase the number of groups and that's what i'm doing and then i'm recursively checking the answer for the next uh, with the next houses onwards so the next house will be idx plus one the new group should the new number should be 
either num or num plus one depending on the previous color and then the this color uh, the current color should now be i mean the previous color for the next state should be the current color of the house house of the current color yeah sorry color of the current current house and then uh, i'll if that was not the case like this house was not painted already then we will we will need to paint it and there are certain cost involved by in painting that so we will again do the same thing we will check what was the previous number of groups that we have currently and if this color so we are ranging from 1 to n as there are colored from 1 to n and then we will check whether the color that we are going to choose for now is equals to the previous color that was uh, chosen for the previous house and if that's not the case we will uh, we will have the same number of uh, unique group and if it is the same uh, yeah I think you get the point if the color of the houses are not the same that means we are going to increase the number of uh, unique groups otherwise we are not going to increase and then we are going to check recursively for next house onwards the total cost and uh, the color will be changed to the this color whichever color we have chosen for this one and then there is the cost involved for choosing this color i minus one is because it's zero based indexing for the matrix and yeah and in the end i will memoize my op uh, my answer the best answer that i'll get from here and this part i have already explained so i hope you guys were able to understand i mean i was able to explain you guys properly and um, if there is anything which is not clear which is not clear please let me know in the comment section below so yeah and please do not forget to subscribe my channel if you like my work thanks for watching this video guys